Hi YouTubes! Today we're here at Los Serranos in Chino Hills. We're playing the south course from the Blues which is just over 7,000 yards and has a course rating of 74.4. Here at hole number one, they start you off with a long par five, measuring 552 yards. Starting with the driver, that oh, swing felt in. really good. Four. 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 And yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of those loud fours from here on out throughout the day. Now stepping up to my second shot, overly excited from that great first drive, but I can't follow up and hit a stinker. Beautiful. Fortunately, I did avoid the bunkers. Now the ball is above my feet, not a very fun lie. I actually make decent solid contact but my ball sails left landing in this wet muddy patch that's about 100 yards from the pin. And I must say filming myself on the course has helped me quite a bit. Uh, just seeing that last swing, how badly I'm coming in from the outside, definitely helps me know what I need to work on uh, which is pretty much everything. There you see my putt for par, it didn't break as much as I thought it would leaving me with a nervous bogey putt. But I make the putt, and I'm happy to take a bogey after two bad miss hits. Now back to back long par fives, I'm feeling good after that first drive, hoping to replicate it. But I hook it to the left, getting saved by that net there. For my second shot, it's kind of hard to tell from this camera angle, but I didn't really have a line because of the branches. So I opted to just punch it out with my 6 iron. Using my 4 hybrid here, not going for the green, but hoping to land just before it. My ball settles in the rough just before the greenside bunker, using my 60 degree to try to get it over the bunker and onto the green. And I do manage to get it on the green, but leave it a bit short. No, that's not a video glitch you see there, but it's just Mino taking his practice strokes. I must work really well, because if I recall, his putter was on fire that day. My first putt flies past the hole, leaving me with another nerve-wracking bogey putt. Yep. Nice. Now at hole number three, I'm going for the driver again. And you know it's not a great shot when there's no shot tracer. Since it's having a tough time picking up where the ball is. My bad. Like to the, basically, the left side of this on top of the hill is the tee box. Now and shout out to my playing partner right? Yoon, always giving me good reads Left's and this, tips, exactly. and always exactly. driving to my errand shots. It's funny, as if I could aim. Hey, at least you got now here I joke saying, as really if I could go. aim. Now everybody says this, but you know, the more I play, the more I realize you always need to maintain that positive mental attitude when on the course. Now, it's fun and alright to be self-deprecating on the video commentary, but it doesn't help you when you think negative thoughts about your swing or your shot. So as of late, I feel like this has helped me quite a bit, uh, being confident with the shot I choose to hit. Oh, sorry Sam, I'm the worst person to show anybody a line for their putts. As for me, I take a 3 putt for a double. Par 4, hole number 4, using driver, I push my tee shot to the right, awesome. and thank you guys for the comments to make me feel but, better. Like, it was close to being great, but slightly right. Not a lot. Okay. I have a line to the pen, it's an easy pitching wedge, but... Take number two, third shot with a 56 degree, and I get it on the green. Nice. nice on. Now at hole number 5, a slightly elevated tee box for the par 4 hole, and almost the exact same shot as the last hole. I, I cannot see my ball at all. I, I... Yeah, for some reason I just could not track my ball that day. 
and thankfully Yoon has the eyes of an eagle with LASIK. So I'm on the right side of the car path in the rough by the trees, no light at all so I just try to punch it out. My punch shot rolls out a bit too much but still leaves me with a short distance of about 40 yards to the flag. So just showing here that I'm trying to take a bit more time with my putts, uh, looking at the green while walking up to it, uh, looking at the hole from different angles, and just lining up the ball and trusting the line. And it's been helping me quite a bit. Nice. And I'll take a one putt par. Nice par. Nice par. Oh, 167, not 145. We both got the wrong number, Yen. Wait, who told me 145? Come on, Minu. Stop trying to gain unfair advantage. What'd you guys hit? No, I, I missed it, Mike. I got the right fucking mic. I hit a soft sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, I should have clubbed up, but it wouldn't have mattered. Alright. I saved by the net yet again. And then this. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice little ricochet off the branch there to advance it about 10 yards. Sorry to my buddies, I swung into them too quick because we had just waved up the twosome behind us. A long putt for bogey. My lag putting has yet again failed me, leaving it well short. Hi. <laughs> you had the line in. Hole 7 here, and this was my absolute best drive of the day. Nice. It's the total enchilada. Use the smoke, that one. Great shot. It was a draw. It was here. So I think it went left of the bunker. 369 yard par 4. So having it land 51 yards to the pin gives me a 318 yard drive. Granted, it was from a super elevated tee box and mostly downhill, but hey, I'll still take it. Good try at my birdie attempt, got it close enough to just tap it in for a much needed par. Now on to hole number 8, par 5, 583 yards, again feeling good from the previous hole, and another no shot tracer shot. I landed way left in a pretty awkward spot. You can see I have this tree kind of in the way. I just want to punch it out with my six iron, but I take too big of a swing in that position. Okay. I ended up in the fairway and proceed to hit my best iron shot of the day. I remember that one felt really good. Thank you. Let's see if my read did anything for Sam here. Yep. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Andy, you saved my life. I was doing like all <laughs> to the right, like you did. No, no, I mean, you have to wave them all. Nice. Good, Andy. 
Hole number nine is a 207 yard par three. I have a little wind with us using my five iron and I don't hit a very good one. I go left and end up in the bunker. <laughs> little PSA, along with fixing your divots and pitch marks, please remember to rake your bunker shots. It doesn't take long and it's proper etiquette. I'm putting from the fringe here and I just did not give it a good hit. Way short of the hole. I then proceed to miss my bogey putt, leaving me with a double. So for the front nine, I'm at a plus 11, had some good saves, some bad shots, but from my skill level, I'm quite happy with 11 over. And now, let's see how I do on the back nine. 